Hi everyone, this is Eccentric and I'm just on my way out. I'm going to do some shopping. I'm styling two people today. I'm styling my good friend Aldo, who's a model, and my friend Cleo. She's got a, she's an artist and she's got a performance later and she basically wants me to style her. So you'll be joining us along that journey. Um, yeah, the theme that I think she's going for is kind of this reggae feel but when we meet up with Cleo then you will kind of hear exactly what she's looking for and uh, this is my outfit of the day let me just give you a quick twirl I must say the best part about this outfit other than the glasses which I absolutely love is these cool I mean, it's the cross between wearing a trainer slash converse slash eel. I absolutely love it. Um, also, I wonder if you like my hair. I just put a little something together. Instead of rolling um, the iron backwards, I did it forwards, kind of trying to create this kind of 1950s high bang. So, yeah, check it out pretty cool I'm feeling my new haircuts I must say I'm loving it this is day number one with me rocking my new haircuts I'm just here with Cleo hi, hi, hi. Cleo I'm hi. gonna be styling Cleo today Cleo yes. what exactly are you looking for um, I want like a funky reggae look I don't know if there is such thing but hopefully you'll find it okay a funky reggae look mm. We're gonna okay I will. Yeah. I will. This is eccentric, right? If anyone it can make eccentric. it up for the eccentric can funky. Yes, exactly. Especially when you hear the word funky, you don't know that's my thing. But I must say you're looking very funky right now. Thank you, do try. Do try. Do try. <laughs> so what do you need this outfit for? Um, I'm performing today, so I need the outfit for my performance. Okay, follow us and let's see what we So that's why you choose to go to the old reggae field because yeah. the song's got And I've never done it before. Okay. I've never ever done it before and I really want to do it. So when you think reggae, what exactly comes to mind? Oh my god, I don't even know. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking like a long trench army jacket with like batty riders. But this is when I have my crazy hairstyle because mm. I would have had a short hairstyle. Yeah. With like wedges or something. You mm. know that type of prop look army thing going on. But then, that's when you have bright hair. I've got black hair now. It would look a bit weird if I dress like that. Yeah. So what do I do? Okay, we will see. <laughs> Don't worry, Centric's here. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we're in the changing room of Topshop, and I've seen these really cute pants. Um, I like it because it's got that Caribbean feel, that old palm tree print. But, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite go. The fitting isn't right, because obviously, girls, this is what I want to say to you, like, when you're dressing, just because it's in fashion, doesn't necessarily mean it's for you. You have to always consider your body shape and how it fits. Okay. So, Cleo is trying on these dungarees slash jumpers, and I must say I really like it. Um, so it looks, it's looking like a contender. Stay tuned to see what we do with these dungarees and if these are the winner in the long run. <laughs> So we're here with Cleo Hi. and 
Earlier we said we were going to dress her for this performance, which you've just watched. So Cleo, I want you to tell everyone what? about your new look. How do you feel about your new look? You know, express yourself. If I yeah. feel to ask any questions, I will ask you. Okay, well, basically, before, I did have that swag that was different, but I think everyone kind of jumped onto the same wave, which is the shaved head and the bright hair, and, the, you know, you have the batty riders and the Dr. Martins with ripped tight. But for some reason, I actually really do like this sophisticated half. Black hair, I've got black hair. Those of you that know me know Cleo doesn't do black hair, but the black hair and the hat for me personally work, and the bow tie. And it's really confused people because I'm a rapper, but I'm coming through with like a bow tie and a shirt. So it's making them think, wow, like it's a different look. And for me personally, I feel so much better covered up a bit because normally I'm quite open. I have like a boob tube, maybe, and like leggings. Like basically, my figure's showing, but right now it's like. I think it's still showing, don't get me wrong, get me, but it's in a sophisticated way, so I'm not going to lie, 10 out of 10 for me, everyone likes it, and I'm gassed. So you like the eccentric experience? All day, then. every day, so those of you that want to get styled, you have to go and meet her, because you know what, no one can style clear, and that's, a, that's one thing, no one can actually style me, not many people understand me, but she's just got it on point, like, she gets that, I can't be too smart, I still have to be a bit crazy, I have to have the red lipstick and the red nails, I can't be just nude, and I can't just be having bland colours, I have to have a bit of colour on me, so that's why I've got the matching earrings and the green going on and the bow tie. So, so do you think this fits in the reggae team? Or yeah, is this totally it does, it's like palm trees on my shirt, this is the reggae team completely, you know when you skank and it's like, oh, this is reggae all over, you have to make it work, and I think it's working. What's your, what was your highlight of today? dressing like this, even though everyone thinks my performance went well, but I like dressing like this, bow tie and a hat. <laughs> Do you That's think when like. you're performing, your outfit was, um, yeah. it, it, can't, it worked? It worked, it worked, because you know what it is? There was a time where I was like pulling the suspension. Yeah. in an outfit that's not so tight. You get to do whatever you want to do, you get to move about, you can even whine and people don't look at you like you're a slut because you're covered up, you know what I mean, but you're just showing, you're just grooving that. Like. So mainly stressing like this and performing, it kind of made me comfortable. I was ready to as pull, you know, run out the toilet. As like you know, I just styled Cleo. Cleo, like Cleo said, Cleo's very unique by myself, so it's very hard to style someone that's got their own fashion and their own image. You know, so it was a challenge, but as you heard earlier, she gave me what she was looking for, and what helped with Cleo is the fact that she was really open-minded. Um, it was a long day trying to find a perfect outfit yeah. because she's so petite. You have to find that right thing that suits her, and as she said, she's used to like things that exposing her and stuff like that. So it was just finding. The balance. Look, I yes, absolutely she's loved it, and I hope you guys like it. Leave your comment. Let me know if you will do anything different. Um, you can find Cleo on YouTube also. I will leave her link below, just in case you want to get in touch with her. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'm open to styles anyone. So if you want to get in touch with me, please do. I like a challenge. I love a challenge. So if you think I can't, I dare you to come and try me. This is eccentric. I hope you enjoy it.